Subject of food dyes, artificial coloring is back in the news along with a mystery that's been around for a while. Is there a connection between certain colors in foods and beverages and hyperactivity or attention deficit behavior? The FDA is looking for a link and then the question becomes, is there enough evidence to ban them or at least require warning labels? Here's NBC's Tom Costello. 7 a.m. in the Van family home and breakfast is in the blender. Bananas, strawberries, orange juice and a muffin on the side. Three years ago, when eight-year-old Riley was showing signs of ADHD, his mom threw out every food containing artificial dyes and flavors. In two weeks, I could tell a difference in my children, in their handwriting, in their focus, doing homework. Here's Riley's handwriting before the new diet and several weeks after. Now the FDA is once again looking at blue 1 and 2, green 3, orange B, yellow 5 and 6, red 40 and red 3. Found in everything from drinks to candies, baked goods, chips, even pickles and mac and cheese. Many doctors, researchers and consumer advocates have long argued there's a link between the dyes and hyperactivity. There's something genetic that's going on. But then along come food dyes and they can trigger it in at least some kids. This controversy isn't new. Since the 1970s, the Feingold diet has been all about healthy eating and eliminating dyes from kids' menus. And now there are signs the FDA is changing its opinion. The FDA has always said there is no evidence of an ADHD link, but now says the data suggests their condition may be exacerbated by exposure to a number of substances in food, including but not limited to artificial food colors. Today, the grocery manufacturers of America insisted there is no demonstrable link to ADHD, and we are always producing the safest possible product for our consumers. Now an FDA panel will decide whether food dyes are safe enough to remain on America's store shelves. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.